Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand the So if I have a TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? If I turn on airplane mode, can I control the plane? If I charge my phone, can I access the entire electrical grid? If I adjust the brightness on my screen, do I control night and day? If I turn on Bluetooth, does that mean my teeth will turn blue? If I speak into this phone, can you control what I say? If I flush this toilet, does it connect to my plumbing network at home? If I turn off my phone while connected to the plane, does the plane turn off? If I wear this oxygen mask, will all the doctors on the ground know my vitals? If I put on my headphones, will you have access to my brain? I'm currently on my period and very uncomfortable. Do you think I can get an upgrade? There you go. What's that? It's Tampax Radiant. Thought you meant like upgrade me to first class. Tampax Radiant has so many benefits, like a textured grip, so it's more comfortable to insert. And a clean seal wrapper for easy disposal. This truly is a first class upgrade for your period. But you're going to make me more comfortable. Tampax Radiant has up to 100% leak-free protection thanks to its leak guard brain. Let me try this out. Go ahead. Oh, I get it now. Thanks for the upgrade. Welcome aboard, sir. I see that you're sitting in low class, which is in this direction. Low class? What's that? Seat so low, you're sitting on the ground. Can I get like a snack or something? Of course, sir. Here is our menu. There's nothing on this. It's just paper. I know. We serve nothing, but that'll be $5 for the menu. Flying cheap is so not worth it. Should have booked on Way Away. This one? Yes. Users who sign up for a Way Away Plus membership get cash back on bookings of flights, hotels, rental cars, and more. Cash, cash? Rate right to your PayPal. Now you can fly on normal flights for cheaper. Thanks for that advice. Also, where's the toilet? Here you go, sir. You can go in that corner. How much do you think we need to save for her college fund? She's not even born yet. Five more days till I have a baby. Baby's gonna grow up so fast and I really want to capture those moments. I saw this monthly tie-dye tutorial and I really want to do it. So I can take photos of baby every month. We found this pastel tie-dye kit from Walmart. I got these plain white onesies from Amazon. And look how tiny they are. Loser gets month two because it's harder to do. Yeah! And since I won, I get easy number one. I think the last time I played around with tie-dye, I was in elementary school or something. So I don't really know what I'm doing, but I mean, how hard can it be, right? I wanted the wand to pop out the most, so I used the darkest color, which was blue. And then I just kind of went crazy with the other colors. I think mine's going to be nice. Okay, Johnny's turn. Good luck with number two. Folding with the curves is so hard to do, which is why the loser had to do this. <laughs> but he fancy. He did some cool designs. And then this happens. It won't be done for eight hours. You won't see the results until tomorrow. Oh, do a part two. That's so annoying. <laughs> we'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> Oops. This may be the last time I'm ever pregnant. Gotcha, babe. Six more days till I have a baby. I did a maternity shoot, but other than that, I haven't taken any other photos. I really want to take those pre and post baby shots, something like this. So let's do this because in six more days, I won't have a chance to do this and I'm going to regret it for sure. Okay, now where's Johnny to help me take these photos? Oh my God, that was great. You need a lower side view angle, but that creates double chin. So if you stick your chin out, it should be better, right? Okay, maybe not. This one's cute. Let's use this one. After the baby, I'll take the same photo and it should look something like this. I also want this photo, so let's get changed. I know you guys love the crab head headband but it is the year of the bunny so i'm gonna go with this one this outfit is much more realistic to how i was this entire pregnancy but we want to try to make the outfit as tight as possible just so that we can really see that bump uh johnny let's try this again please this one's cute so after it should look something like this now let's go get a real baby babe mm -hmm. pick a box all right Ooh, oh. Sorry, <laughs> we're gonna play deal or no deal for your push present Bye. All right. Nope, nope, nope. Not yet. Oh, okay. Okay. So what would have been your second guess? What do you mean? Second number. Uh, we were chosen? Yeah. Instead of this one? Instead of five. Okay. All right. Open two. Open two. Set five aside. The two. Okay. That is a gift you're not going to get. I'm not going to get. 
What's a channel bag? <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> What's a channel? I don't care. I don't want a channel. Chanel. It's Chanel. Imitation Chanel? Counterfeit Chanel? I don't want it. Okay, moving on. Moving I don't on. want moving it. On. <laughs> what would have been your third number? Pick the third number. This is another number you're not going to get. Yeah, open it. Okay. <laughs> it's just like the Chanel. First class flight! That would have been to anywhere in the world. Anywhere. <laughs> not, not Spirit Airlines. <laughs> if you want Spirit Airlines, I don't even think they have a first class on Spirit Wait, wait, like those suites? Like, like with the beds and stuff? Flying hotel, babe. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I've never, Anyways, got, you're I've not never gotten on first class flight before. You're not getting that one. Set that aside. All right. <laughs> so number five. You have four, three, and six. Yeah. Do you want to trade five? Do I want to trade five? Okay. Okay. So let's just pick another number. Just pick another number that's not five. That's another one that you're not going to get. Okay. Open it. Trip to Kenya. To Kenya. Oh, no, that's a good one. I've been saying I wanted to go to Kenya forever. Well, you're not getting that one. Set that aside. All right. Let's Let's, do you want to trade again? No? no? You don't want to trade? Okay, just, you know what? Let's change the rule of the game. Open five. And whatever you okay. see, okay. whatever you see, you can choose to keep yeah. or change. Oh, that's generous. Okay, okay, okay. Number five. Two hour massage? Two hour massage. <laughs> Wait, from you? From me. No, 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 I want to change. <laughs> okay, pick another no, number. Wanna... Pick another number, yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys Okay, okay. We can't fingers. Pick, no, another, I don't pick want another number. I don't want it. <laughs> what trip to Kenya? I'd rather do that. Pick another number. Okay. Okay. Are you sure? Okay. Open it. Final? That is the it. one. Final. No that more trades. That is the trade. deal. No more trades. Open it up. I don't get to open it and trade it for this nope. one if I don't like it. Sorry. I gave you that deal earlier. Oh. And trade only. Sexy. Are you okay with uh, number six? Okay. <laughs> That's my gift. Better not be a one hour fucking foot massage or something. I don't want that. <laughs> Tesla. Tesla. New car. For you or for me? For you. <laughs> for me? Yeah, for you. Your car. Like, I have a car. I, you want me to... Are we gonna You're going to trade, trade that my, thing in for trade sure. Trade my Hyundai for the Tesla? 1,000%. No, seriously? Yes. Dude, this is the best one! No. Now, open okay. four. Open four? <coughs> yeah, well, I'm not gonna, you can't be the Tesla. Oh. Dude, this one's Maybe you can't. Maybe you can't. Yeah. Weenie dog? Like, like a doll or? Like who? One of these. Like one of those. What Living and breathing. What do you mean? Guys? You would have gotten one of those, but a puppy. Could have gotten another weenie dog? Puppy, yep. But anyway, no, it's just, no, it's just no, like, no, let's trade, let's trade, let's trade, let's trade, let's trade. No, let's trade, I'll trade you. Nope. Tesla. No! I'm alive, I'm dead, I'm watching TV, I'm looking at you, fuck you, I'm dead again, I'm up, I can run faster than a bitch around the house. Your daughter is so cute, how old is she? 120 months. 120 months? So 10. Yeah, 10. Okay. Then why did you- There is a medical emergency, please. Is there a doctor on board? That could have been you. What? You could have been doctor, but no, you chose to be YouTuber. Oma, there's literally someone dying right now. Good. Then you go take a video, pour some views. I know you're somewhere out there, somewhere far away. When the song come on, let me see you get gone. Get gone. Baby mama, this your song been pregnant for way too long. Too long. Now tell the DJ turn it off. Turn it off.
if she a baby mama, she gon' do that baby mama. Work. She gon' put it on you. Yeah. Uh-huh. She gon' do that Get baby up, mama. Up, up. Drop, 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 dr
your rate goes back up to 99%. And to those that try to change seats with different classes, <laughs> please don't even try to ask someone who's sitting in Economy Plus or business to take your Economy seat. Passengers pay a lot of money to upgrade, so unless you plan on paying them back, your success rate will be negative 682%. Okay? I'll catch up with you in a bit. I just need to grab 10 face masks. I'll be right back. Okay, see ya. Hi, I just need 10 face masks? Of course, I'll grab those for you. And actually right now, if you buy 10 face masks, we're giving away 10 for free. So perfect timing. Oh my God, that's amazing. Thank you. These 20 face masks will come to $36, but I do want to let you know that right now you can get 100 face masks for 60 bucks. Well, I mean, if you do the unit conversion, that's so much cheaper. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the 100 masks. Great! And now that you're spending $60, you can choose between any one of our best-selling moisturizers for free as a gift. That's great! I'll take that one. And if you spend another like $20, I can actually gift you these premium gift packs that are only available in this store. So just 20 bucks and I get that premium pack? <laughs> yeah, I want it! These are good for wrinkles, right? Add that. Yes, that's a great product. So your total comes to $85. Oh! You're so close to 100 If you spend $100, get 15% off your entire purchase. Oh, <laughs> that's like giving up free money. I am not stupid enough to miss out on that. So add these. I put in some extra samples in here for you as a service. Oh my God, you are seriously the best. Thank you so much. So you got what you needed? Yeah, I got a hundred face masks, five moisturizers, serums, sunscreens, cleansers, and a limited edition gift bag, and a ton of free samples. I thought you only needed 10 face masks. Oh. Happy Chinese New Year. I have a red envelope for each one of you. Well, why are you being so nice and generous all of a sudden? Well, giving you guys red envelopes actually brings me good fortune as well, so I'm actually just doing this for me. Only you can turn generosity into selfishness, but whatever. Yoink! Aw, thanks, Lindsay. A penny. The amount of money in there reflects how important you are in my life, so... <laughs> But it's an old bill, not a crisp new one, so it's only gonna bring you old luck. <laughs> Fine by me. Four hundred forty-four dollars, which in Chinese means ultimate death. <laughs> Who cares what it means? I'll take the cash. Thank you so much. Watch out for that suitcase. <laughs> Genie. Happy Chinese New Year's, everyone! So for this year, I decided to only give red pockets to those that are not married. Why not married? I'm transferring my luck so you can find forever love this year. I think it's the married ones that need the luck. Anyways, like, who cares? You should, because there's money in those red pockets. What? Well, I'm single, so give me that. I'm single. Didn't you just get married to Veronica last month? Yeah, but... We're currently flying to a country that doesn't recognize same-sex marriages, so technically, I'm still single. So I'll take that. <laughs> so I know I've been married for 40 years, but recently I found out that my husband was cheating on me, and quite frankly, I don't want to be a divorcee, you know, and die alone. So we're testing out this like open relationship thing for now. So technically, I'm single, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> to give you guys real money on this flight attendant salary besides it's not what it's inside that counts it's the outside red envelope that's going to bring you guys luck this year guys watching my daughter do a natural skincare routine Is I unique? It's 
a Korean skincare product, all natural, organic, and it solves skincare problem for all ages. The Satella Tea Tree line is a fragrance free and non greasy, it's very good for acne and leadness. This line has a natural moisturizing ingredient from mushroom. No more dry skin for you. When you're 30, you need lots of vitamins. The purple sleeping mask will give you lots of skin nutrition when you sleep. Wow, when you're 40, you need to take care of wrinkles. Bye-bye wrinkle, and it helps soothe the skin. Okay, but what if all of those are my problems? Get to everything. And here we go. I hope you're hungry for nothing. Things at Korean restaurants that just make sense. Are you eating something that could end up on your clothes? That's why aprons are usually provided at these restaurants. Now you can slurp away worry-free. You know how your clothes stank when you go to Korean barbecue? Your seats actually turn into storage to protect your jacket. Bing bong! Each table has a call bell so you get service right away. Dominique, que s'en allait tout simplement routier. Pauvre et chantant, en tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. À l'époque, Jean son terre d'Angleterre était le roi, Dominique, notre père, combattit les Albigeois. Dominique, ni que ni que s'en allait tout simplement, routier, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Hi. Just this. So your total is $2.98. Would you like to donate your two cents change to help starving blind children in Africa who are running for their lives and all they want is a place to sleep at night? No, thank you. Okay. Would you like a bag for 20 cents? Yes, I would. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, once my skin clears up and I lose 20 pounds, shave my legs and learn how to properly do my eyebrows and get a whole new wardrobe, comb my hair and become mentally stable, it's going to be over for all of you bitches. Where our eyes are never closing, hearts are never broken, and time's forever frozen still. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your lip. Hey, sweetie. Got plans later? Uh -huh. Sorry, ma'am. What do you mean you're kicking me off my flight? I'm sorry, ma'am. The flight is overbooked, so I booked you in for the next available flight. No, 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 no. I fully paid for my flight. Okay, I have a confirmed ticket, confirmed reservation, and the plane left without me. How is that even fair? What am I going to do about my plans? I have to change all of my plans? Just because you guys Since there's a huge time gap flight, for your next flight, flight we'll be compensating you $1,550. Always me, excuse me, what? $1,550 for the inconvenience. What? What, what, what? Why would you do that? Well, it's actually the law. Your next available domestic flight is over two hours arrival delay, so we need to compensate you 400% of your one-way ticket fare. And I calculated yours is $1,550, which is our maximum payout. Oh, well, I already knew that because I follow Jeannie Weenie. Honestly, if I was you, I'd be totally upset too. Like being bumped totally sucks. So let me see if there's something else I can do. <gasps> Why don't I upgrade you to first class because it's available on the next flight? Okay, well, thank you for bumping me. Welcome aboard! Hi. Um... What? Oh! Are you okay? Your titties are pulsating! Okay, fine. 
Yeah, I need to see your papers. Have you ever lost your ID right before your flight? Here's what you can do, let's go! In the US, if you suddenly lose your ID or passport, you should still be able to fly on domestic flights. You just have to go through an extended identification process. The first thing you want to do is, of course, explain your situation to the airline counter representative. At this time, you'll be asked to present any form of identification you may have, like a, a business card, a photo business card even better, a credit card, Sometimes mail, a student ID card, a work card, something, anything you present at this time. If they're satisfied with what you have provided, they will issue you a boarding pass and write a little note for security letting them know you don't have ID. Once you get to security, you will need to explain your situation once again where the TSA agent will probably take you into another room where they do additional screening. They're going to check your ID once more and probably give you a pat down, maybe check on your carry-on and belongings, and if they're happy, you get to go on your flight. Now, if you're flying international, <laughs> that's a whole other issue. What is that? New speakers. Why would you buy that? Last time you said you couldn't hear the TV. We were watching A Quiet Place. But it's for the surround sound. What are you surrounding our living room's 50 square feet? And those speakers are even bigger than our TV. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, okay. I'll take care of it. Thank you. But God! <laughs> what the hell is that? I got a bigger TV to match the speakers. But God! Good afternoon to everyone. All the she, hers, he, him, they, them, and all the other pronouns that I can possibly think of. If a child is crying, you may use the emergency exit to throw the. When do you serve food? Do you see me holding food? Um, no. No, then shut the. F On behalf of the captain, I would like to announce that we are currently very high and that the plane is about to take off shortly in any situation that the plane is about to crash please do not panic as it is just dying it's not that deep excuse me are there players from the manchester united team on the plane oh how did you know that can i get an autograph please oh sweetie we're really not allowed to bother <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. We're not allowed to bother other passengers with these things, okay? No, you know the rules. We can't ask VIP passengers for photos or autographs. Oh. We can't. Excuse me, it's okay. We would love to sign an autograph for her. Are you sure? The entire plane is filled with Manchester United fans, so if you sign one, you may need to sign them all. That's okay with us. We love our fans. Thank you. I love you. Hey, what should we serve as snacks for our Christmas party? Why don't we serve some horse divorce? What did you say? Horse divorce? What's that? You know those little, little finger food things like appetizers? You mean hors d'oeuvres? Wait! Wait! I texted everybody! No! We will now be boarding families with young children that need extra assistance. You can board now. Would it be okay if my partner boarded first with all of our belongings and the kid and I can board right at the end? You should be boarding together. Well, he obviously needs time to put things away, but I would prefer to let this one run around and tire herself out. Rather than try to keep her calm for an extra 45 minutes waiting for everyone else to board, wouldn't it be better for us to board last? That's genius! Yes, you can board later! Uh, ah, hey, 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 kid! Uh, you, you can't run around like this. It's dangerous. Where, where are your parents? Go back to your seat, okay? Don't tell my kid what to do. Ma'am, you can't have your child running around the aircraft unsupervised. It's very dangerous. He's a kid. Kids run around. Ma'am, it's actually for your child's safety. I know the seatbelt sign is turned off, but we do get unexpected turbulence sometimes, and if that happens, your kid's gonna go flying. I've flown thousands of times, and I can assure you that it's never been a problem. If you don't care, I don't care.
You, you can't run around like this. It's dangerous. What, where are your parents? Go back to your seat, okay? Don't tell my kid what to do. Ma'am, you can't have your child running around the aircraft unsupervised. It's very dangerous. He's a kid. Kids run around. Ma'am, it's actually for your child's safety. I know the seatbelt sign is turned off, but we do get unexpected turbulence sometimes, and if that happens, your kid's gonna go flying. I've flown thousands of times, and I can assure you that it's never been a problem. If you don't care, I don't care. So I was in the middle of filming my skits and uh, the doorbell rings and I get a delivery and yeah, I uh, received my sample of this merch I'm developing and I wanted it to be cute. So I kind of want to show you guys. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> to his seat. Well, sweetie, he decided to assault some passengers and crew, so we decided to restrain him. But what if he needs to go to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go. Let me free. Oh, well, then we just give him a blanket and he can go in his seat. There you go. Huh? You're joking, right? I, I'm being really serious. I gotta go. Number one or number two? Two! Ooh. You can't do this! Where are my rights? Well, you probably should have thought about that before you decided to punch someone in the face, yeah? Oh no. Ew! Excuse me, young lady. Can you please put your phone to airplane mode or landing soon? Why? It's for your safety. How? Because your phone can interfere with airplane communications. You're telling me my phone is going to mess with this multi-million dollar airplane? Maybe. You want to risk it? Did you even need to go to college for this job? No, we get training from the airline. That explains a lot. Wait, how much do you make? That's a little personal. I heard you guys only make 40 k a year. Is that true? That's just starting. We get benefits. Can you even pay rent with that? No. Let me get this straight. You didn't go to college, you're broke, and you wear unflattering clothes for work? Jeannie? So, is this your very last flight? Yep. And you got scheduled for an airport standby? Yeah. That sucks. Eh, it is what it is. So technically, I have the power right now to send you anywhere in the world for your very last shift. Your glasses are so nice. Thanks. Well, I've decided to send you to Johannesburg, South Africa. Okay. You do know that the World Cup is being held there, right? Cool. And Emirates Airlines is the official sponsor for the World Cup. Okay. And Emirates gets box seats for every game. Okay, congrats to Emirates. I don't know. Oh my God. You're Emirates! The crew that flies to South Africa gets box seats to the World Cup game! What did he say? Enjoy your last flight. Only when I lie in bed on my own And I wake up at night I'll see your name on my phone <laughs> What to eat at Kwanjang Market in Seoul, Korea! Let's go! The market is super easy to get to, just take the subway. Honestly, anything you choose to eat here is going to be absolute fire. There is this kiosk of food everywhere and I wanted to eat everything, even things I didn't know, like what in the world is that? I don't know, but I want it. I was with the larger group, so we literally just picked a place that could fit us all. We got some seafood and chai pancakes, also some fried fish and fried veggies. What is a hemur? Seafood pancake. Thank you. <laughs> and this is the perfect time to drink some makgeolli.
It's a creamy Korean rice wine that you have to try with your Korean food. And then we saw this random donut shop where people were lining up like crazy. So of course we lined up because I don't want no FOMO. The line went fairly quickly even though they were making the donuts from scratch right in front of you. We tried one of each flavor and yep, they were the best donuts we've ever had. Especially this one. We were so full but then we ran into this pile of mandus and so we had to eat it. This place is actually known for their kalguksu where they make fresh noodles for you on the spot. She's such a pro, she doesn't even have to look! But the real star of the show was this Ajima because she is literally the cutest human being I've ever seen in my entire life. Ajima, 사랑해! Recently found out not many of you know this. If you want to sleep comfortably on the plane, your headrest adjusts so you don't need a pillow. Position it how you want and it even goes up and down. Time for a quick nap. Good night. Hi, can I get a free upgrade? No, but let me tell you how much it would be to upgrade. So I see that you're staying for two weeks, so the total to upgrade to a suite would be $1,500. One second, please. Okay, I like that upgrade now, please. Great, should I just charge a $1,500 to your card? Actually, if you look again, I'm now an ambassador of Intercontinental. I signed up for $200 instead of paying $1,500, which pretty much guarantees an upgrade anywhere in the world for the next year whenever I stay with you guys, so. Thank you for being an ambassador of our hotel. Enjoy your suite. And how do I know this works? Because I just did it here in Korea! <laughs> A strange thing happened on the plane today. A group of vampires came on board and told me they were thirsty. So after boarding, I asked them what they wanted to drink. The first vampire asked for really hot blood. On Genie Air, we never say no, so I found a way to get the blood. The second vampire asked for really cold blood, so I got that for her as well. But the third vampire just asked me for hot water. Super confused, I asked her, don't vampires only drink blood? She takes out a use pad and says, I'm making tea. Things in Korea subway that just make sense. You know when your phone is at 2% and then it gives you like mega anxiety? Well, you don't have to worry anymore because there's chargers everywhere. And look at this. It's a bike pull away ramp just to help you get your bike up the stairs with ease. <gasps> so smart. And there's vending machines everywhere. What you want? You hungry? You thirsty? You need some gum? You need a condom? Whatever. They got it. And because there's so many people on the subway, everything is so super organized. There's signs that tell you where to walk, where to stand. And guess what? People actually listen here. There's even designated seats for those that are pregnant, elderly, with kids, disabled. People will always get up if you need it, which is so sweet. I get mega stomach issues whenever I travel, but just knowing that there are free restrooms at every single station oh, helps me with my anxiety. Okay, these freaked me out a little bit because it reminded me that I am underground, and if something happens, I'll be trapped, but uh, at least they provide us with the masks. How does the subway system in your city compare to Korea's? Something right here, right here. Oh, 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 oh. perfect, perfect, perfect. Love you. This is how Korean Air gets you to pay attention to their safety video. They use pop idols. Would this work on you? Law. Wow, what a beautiful house! Why wasn't this sold in 20 years? As the realtor, I have a responsibility to disclose that over 20 years ago, a family of five was brutally murdered and the murderer chopped them up into pieces and ate them before killing himself. Uh, residents have claimed that this property is haunted, but who believes in haunted houses anyways, yeah. right? I guess that happened so long ago, but oh my god, what is that? Playing around. Just think of her as like a friendly neighborhood spider, you know? Just always hanging around. Yeah, no, I don't think I want this house. <laughs> Listen, take the house today and I'll knock off $50,000 from the purchase price. I'll take it! Sugar babes? Hello? Hey, is Johnny there? No, he's not here right now. 
Who's this? Oh, this is Chris, his girlfriend. Girlfriend? What are you talking about? This is his wife speaking? Oh, hell no. We've been dating for the last eight months. Excuse me? We've been married for the last six years. You have got to be kidding me. You tell Johnny I'm not helping him pay for his mortgage anymore, okay? Tell him I want everything I bought him back, like his Tesla and his product gift certificate I just gave him. And you can tell him I'm removing his ass off my Netflix account. Yo, I'll tell Johnny you called, okay? Uh, welcome to the family bus.